The rehearsing is for you. You're a hero. And you're going to get a medal for stopping that Nazi from killing Cat Car. I wasn't a Nazi. I was Nately's whore. She tried to kill me because I told her about Nately. But, but the colonel said that it's part of a deal I made with him. They send me home a hero, and I say wonderful things about them back in the States. Oh. That's a lousy deal, isn't it? Isn't it? Well... Isn't it? I don't know. I'm, I'm not here to judge you. What are you here for? I'm not too sure about that either. What would you do if you were me? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not you. Imagine that you are me. Well, that's hard. Sometimes I even have trouble imagining that I'm me, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm going to call the deal off. If they want to send me home, let them do it because I've flown over 50 missions, not because I'm a stubborn son of a bitch. I can't do that. They have to send home every man in the outfit. That's their problem. No, it's your problem because they'll court-martial you. I'm afraid you're going to have to make the best of a bad situation. No. No, what? Listen, I've been lying in this bed for three weeks now, thinking about it. And all I know is that I don't want to go to prison and I can't play Cat God's game. Well, what else can you do? I can run away. You desert? Why not? How would you ever get off the base? That's insane. Sure it is. That's why it's the only sensible thing for me to do. You're Syrian. They'll call you a coward. It's your country. Oh, Christ, Danby. I've flown 55 missions. I've been fighting for my country for three years. Now I'm going to stop fighting for myself. Suppose everyone felt that way. Then I'd be a damn fool to feel any different. Well, what, what would your friends say? I haven't got any. Nately was blown to bits. McWatt killed himself. Hungry Joe's chopped in two. Dobbs disappeared. Hardbox a murderer. Dr. Nick is a zombie. They're all gone. The only friend I had was Snowden. I didn't even know him. What about Orr? Orr's at the bottom of the sea. A fish ate him. <laughs> no, he isn't. Don't you know? No what? Or in Sweden. What? <laughs> After 16 weeks at sea, Captain Orr was found washed ashore by a trio of Swedish Girl Scouts. It's a miracle. Apparently, he rode all the way. He, he rode? <laughs> yeah, in that tiny little raft. To Sweden? Think of that, all the way to Sweden? He'll sit out the rest of the war. It's a miracle. It's no miracle. He has to have planned it. <laughs> he went to Sweden. It's deliberately 4,000 miles away. That's what he meant when he said that crash landing was, was good practice. all this time. Practicing getting he shot down in the sea. Practicing on every mission that he flew. <laughs> that, no, no, no. That is a miracle. <laughs> Practicing getting shot down in the sea. We gotta stop him. You're Syrian! I can do it, Gumby! They'll catch you, they'll bring you back! I can do it! This is insane! I can do it! What about your clothes? They'll never recognize you without my uniform! You'll be on the run with no friends! You'll live in constant danger of betrayal! <laughs> I live that way now! You Syrian, for God's sake, hurry up! So long, Chaplain! How do you feel, you Syrian? Fine! Except I'm scared to death! You'll have to keep on your toes every minute! I'll keep on my toes! You'll have to jump. I'll jump. Jump! <laughs> <laughs>